All right, what's happening? So if you guys haven't heard already, Gaslam pulled out, I think it was five or six days before the fight. And what drives me nuts is how are you pulling out due to injury? There's either two things that's going on. Either you already had an injury lingering and you pulled out of the fight or you're sparring too hard, training too hard five days out from the fight, which makes no sense. Fight week, it's not about, you know, destroying your body, so to speak. It's more about, you know, managing your weight, losing some, uh, trying to make the weight and just uh, keep the heart heart rate going and uh, make sure that cardio is on point and, you know, making sure you have zero injuries going into the fight. You want to be 100% come fight night. So, which is weird, you know, guys five days out from the fight, they're usually not hard sparring. so you know, how is he pulling out due to injury? Did he already have an injury and take the fight? So it's just, I'm a little confused. I didn't really look too into it. Maybe some of you guys know uh, what the injury was or what it's about, but I'm not too sure. So we do have a new main event. Sean Strickland, of course, psychopath decides to come in on uh, short notice and take the fight against a really tough opponent. Imovov, this guy's a very dynamic striker. If you guys watch some of his fights, he does sometimes keep his hands low, but he's got really he's got a really good bounce to his feet. He's, you know, he'll switch between orthodox, southpaw. He's just a really dynamic striker. And, you know, for the middleweight division, I know this one's I think it's gonna be at 205 because tri- just because of the weight, but you know, Nasruddin Imovov, he's tall for that weight class, 6'3". He's, you know, Sean Strickland's a tall dude, and he's taller than Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland, you know, he likes to do that weird stand up straight, and he likes to really jab people. I just think uh, it's not going to work too well against Nasruddin Imovov. Also, Nasruddin Imovov has a great ground game. This guy's got pretty good wrestling, you know coming out of uh born in dagestan so you know all those uh boys from dagestan got really good grappling super well-rounded this fight you know 50 50 i'm i'm leaning towards imovov i mean he was training he was in a hard camp and now he he was already training to fight strickland just found out he was fighting you know five days before this fight i'm assuming he's obviously still in shape because he just fought jared cannonier I just think Styles make fights. I think Strickland's going to go in there, try to just strike with Imovov, and I think that's just going to work to his detriment. I think if you know he wants to mix it up, you know, sort of do what Phil Hawes did. Phil Hawes is a great wrestler himself, uh, national champion, I believe. But um, I don't think Strickland's going to do that. I think Strickland's going to go in there and do the same thing he did with Jared Cannonier, and you know that was a close fight with Cannonier. Could have went either way. But I just think Imovov's a little too dynamic on the feet. Super accurate striker. And I think uh, he should be able to get it done. Now he's coming off three straight wins. And Sean Strickland is coming off two straight losses. So we'll see. But uh, my money's on Imovov. If you guys uh, check the odds, they're dead even right now. Dead even odds. I mean, let's see here. I'm going to see if I can pull up some odds for you guys. Let's see here. So we're on BetUS, promo code Iceman. You guys already know, probably the best sports bookies in the business, only available in US, Canada, and Europe. I'm just going to select all these fights. So let's let's take it to uh, the main event here. Oh, they don't even have uh, props out. That's ridiculous. And I think just because it's a new fight, they haven't uh, maybe – have they not put the odds out for uh, Method of Victory? It's... All right, let's see. So I'm going to see Umar Namagomedov, Hani Barcelos. 
minus 1,000 now. If you guys looked earlier, he was minus 500. So a lot of money going on Umar to Magomedov. I think that's a great bet if you go Umar by decision. That's a, that's a pretty good bet because um, you can get some good uh, good odds with that. I'm just going to go to... Let's, So here I'm just checking, um, picking off some fights that I want to see method of victories on. So the Damon Jackson, Dan Ige fight, I could see that fight going the distance. Minus 160. Not bad if you parlay it. Let's see. Hani Barcelos, Umar Nurmagomedov. Now, when I first seen this fight, I was like, Umar is so good at taking the back, getting to the back. But Hani Barcelos is a high-level jiu-jitsu guy himself. His defense is really good off his back. I'm assuming he's going to be able to hang in there. And I'm thinking Umar Nurmagomedov by decision. I think that is a great bet. Umar Nurmagomedov by decision. And who knows, I might parlay that with um, Nasruddin Imavov. So if you guys check my IG, I might uh, post my bet on there for that one. Umar, by decision, parlayed with Imavov. That should uh, that should win you some good money there. And uh, yeah, good luck. Let's make some money this weekend. Out.